Thank you for calling. My name is Sean. How can I help you today? Yes, Sean. I was calling because I received a message saying something about my AOL account was compromised and it told me to call this number back. All right. Can I have your name, please? Yes, Anita. A N I T A. Melanicious P. All right. And last name is Ness. N E S S. I got it. Okay. I mean, what's going on? Why would you all be calling me? Because, ma'am, we are getting that somebody is trying to download AOL Gold by using your information. So that is just a verification call. Did you try to download AOL Gold in the, like, a uh, couple of minutes back or yesterday in a couple of days? No, I haven't. You said AOL Gold. No. Um, I never heard right. of AOL Gold. Can you explain that a little bit more to me? AOL Gold is an email. It's an email application, ma'am. Or you might be getting some problems with your printers or emails. Are you getting something like that? Mm -mm. I haven't had any problems with it. That's right. I'm kind of wondering why you guys would be calling me. I need to check that, ma'am. Do you mind if I arrange you a call back once I check with my supervisor on this? Because um, I'm not sure who called you on I don't call. have time to be having someone keep you calling me. Call uh, back. That's okay. Can you just That's put me on hold and, and go check with your supervisor and I'll be here? Can you just check with them? I, I don't mind holding. It will. Uh, my supervisor is busy on another line, so I can do one thing, or else you can give me a call back in like 15 minutes. I'll surely get the reports done for you. Okay, because I really want to get this taken care of, so I don't want to be waiting okay. yeah, so long. I understand. I understand. Mm -hmm. And I definitely don't, don't want to be back and forth with the phone call. So um, you said call you back in 15 minutes? Yes, you can call us back in 15 minutes. Okay. I'll give you all the reports. Then. Okay, I'll call you back in 15 minutes. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. One eternity later. Why'd you put the music okay. on? I was asking Cousin Eddie, did he download something to my computer? That was not fair. I didn't appreciate I didn't appreciate hearing music in my ear. I'm trying to talk to this fool and then you put music on. That was very disrespectful. No, 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 no. I'm sorry for that. Let me tell you, I put you on hold because I was getting some response from my manager regarding your case. Okay, so well, you need to tell that. me when you're putting me on hold. So that way I know I'm not talking to the music or talking to the air. So please don't do that sure, again. Sure. Sure. Yeah, he said he think he did, but he thought he had uninstalled everything that he downloaded. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm connecting a call. Okay. okay. Uh, I mean, I'm connecting a computer. So look on the keyboard. Uh, can you please come in front of the computer right now? Yeah, I'm in front of it. Look on the keyboard, left hand down corner. Can you see there is a Windows key, the Microsoft symbol? Yeah, I see a control key, and it looks like four windows or four boxes. I'm talking about the four windows, okay. So just hold down the four windows key along with the letter R. R is in Romeo at the same time. Okay. And it brought up this box says type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, right. and Windows will open it for you. Is that box empty or you have something in it? Uh, it was something in it. Do I should I make it empty? Make it. Yes. Okay. Okay, it's empty. You can type in a www dot. Okay, www dot. Help me dot net like the way I'm helping you. Okay, help me. Okay, what I need to help you with? Sorry? What I need to help you with? You said help me? Yeah, you need to type help me. Oh. The word you need to type. Okay, help me. So, I'm helping you. <laughs> okay, so what do you have in the box? www.helpme.net Right, help me is a one word, right? Yes. Press OK. Okay. Can I press enter? Yes. Okay. It's easier for me with the keyboard than it is with the mouse. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is this site? It says go to assist and establish support establish, connection. Yeah. What do you type your name? What is this website? 
uh, it's a website to connect you with the AOL secure server okay so type your name then I can generate a support key. okay I'm just reading some this is be cautious if you receive unsolicited requests right as your computer we always suggest to our customer do not allow it any third party people okay on your computer okay well make sure yeah we don't need any more third parties on our computer <laughs> so no, no. yeah <laughs> okay I'm ready for the support key the support key is 753 753 343 343 493 493 okay 753 343 493 right press continue okay mm -hmm. it says run go to assist opener do you want to run or save go to assist opener run it. okay run run it okay it got yeah. run, save, and cancel. What does save do? Run it. You need to click on run. Okay, click on run. Okay. It said run a security scan. Okay, okay just wait. Okay. Uh, it says initializing, downloading, and connecting to go to assist. Okay, it says use account control. Do you want to allow the following programs to make changes yes. to this computer? What changes are you making to yes. the computer? We are not making any changes. But that's what it said. Yeah. yeah, why it's saying because you are downloading this application, okay? Oh. So that's why it's asking to make some changes on your computer. So it can be downloaded on your computer, then, I, then I, I'll be connected with the help of this. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, it says installing go to assist customer. Okay, it's got go to assist customer at the bottom of the screen. I'm sending a request right now. You'll see my name there. You can press yes. Okay, so your name is David Parker? Yes. Okay. Talking right now. All right, I really appreciate your time and patience. Did a wonderful job. Thank so don't you. Don't touch the computer. Sure. Okay. Just be with me again. Okay. So, how many people are using this computer inside the home? It's me, my dude, and cousin Eddie. So right now, what I'm doing, I'm checking out the security and the service is off your computer. Okay. okay. Just be with Okay, what is MS config? Uh, um, I told you I'm checking out the security and the services. Okay, I'm just asking what is MS config? What does it do to the computer? It's a surf uh, I will explain you, okay? I'm opening it. I'll explain you what is the MS config. Okay. It is a command. It's a command in order to check out the configuration of your computer. Wow, okay. So you can see over here it says system configuration. Yeah. System configuration means it's a brain of your computer. The brain of the computer? Oh, okay, so kind of like, yes. kind of like our brain in our head? Yeah, you can say like that, okay? okay? So there are some services you can see over here. Oh. You can see services, and you can see the manufacturer of those services, and you can see the status of those services. Yeah, I see it. So right now, there are some services are getting stopped. Why, is, why are those services stopped? I don't know. You tell me, uh, have you made some changes on this computer? No. Like I said, Cousin Eddie was downloading some crap to the computer, so I told him that only, you know, we should do it in front of, you know, my dude because he's the one that owns the computer. But he said he uninstalled whatever he downloaded. Ain't that what you told me? Yeah, he said, yeah. So I don't know. You ain't touching this Let computer anymore. 
let me explain you about those services yeah. those services are really important okay because those services are protecting your information from the bad people from those bad people who are trying to get into your machine but unfortunately somebody attack on it and what all they have done they have best like you know what they have stopped all of them what so no one can sorry no, i just say it's it's kind of shocking this is happening to me Oh my goodness! That's all I, f you know, freaking need right now. Is something to be going on with my computer and people trying to hack into my computer. Mm -mm -mm. So, what do we have to do to get this problem resolved? So let me check it out. What's going on over here? Okay. So there are some unwanted applications which have been downloaded right now. Wow, what's what's being downloaded? You tell me about those services. How can I tell you when I just told you I don't know what's going on here? You're the technician, so My, you're supposed to be able to yeah, tell me. I, I, I'm the technician. I'm the technician, but I'm asking you because those have not those have not been downloaded on it today. Those have been downloaded in back dead. Can you see? Yeah, like I said, this is my dude's computer and he gave it to me. That's not me. I don't know what So you don't you don't recognize anyone of them? No, right? I don't. Okay. That's the reason I'm asking you and I'm trying to get help from you. Let me try to open it, then I can tell you what what is that. Okay. okay. What are you opening? Uh, I'm opening that application which has been downloaded on it. Now you can. What's all these little? Here. What's all these words or symbols? Uh, I don't know. It might be Chinese. I think. Like you, uh, you can say those are the junk applications. Junk applications. Which, yes, all of those junk applications have been downloaded on your machine without your permission. What? In order to misuse information. So they could have been stealing my information from months ago. I mean, some of these things yes. are from December, all the way back in 2015. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I even done it. Let me uh, tell you, Anita. It it's a hacking attack. Okay, that means someone is trying to hack information from a different location. So they've been watching me shop online with my banking information, with my... Exactly. So, I mean, I could be looking at my bank account one day and see things that shouldn't be there. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> but they all are connected, okay, if you will do banking, shopping. But if they have my card information and my bank information, they can use whenever they feel like it. They haven't got your information How you know? yet. Because if they already have all of your information, so that means they have taken out all of your money from your account. But maybe they're waiting for, you know, the time no, to attack. No, no, it's not. Let me tell you. They can try to, you know, what, like, but do whatever they want. If they have your card information after that, you won't be able to use this computer as well. They're going to block this one as well, okay? Okay. And your your money might get stolen at any time. Exactly. So right now, yeah. You can see over here it's one of the application which has been downloaded today as well. Can you see? Yeah, I see it. It has been downloaded today. So what I'm doing right now, I'm giving you some information about that. Then what you can do, you need to read out about this, okay? Allow me one minute, then you can okay. read out this. Okay. R run dll32.exe Okay, what is this? I'm checking it right now. Uh, it's Trojans and viruses. It's just like a virus. That means somebody attack yeah. who are trying to hack information from a different location. Hmm. Interesting. Um, one minute. Since you've been using this computer, have you ever got any problem? Mm -mm, never. Uh, 
Okay, let me open it now. Okay. So I'm highlighting some words of this virus. What you can do, you need to read out this, okay? Okay, it says run dll32.esc is a hidden monitoring software that tracks your personal information such as credit card social security number id email addresses websites that you served or surfing habits ip addresses etc this information can be sent to hackers or third parties to damage your computer by sending viruses spyware malware or use your personal information for criminal activities or fraud purchases uh, you read this? Yeah, I, I read it. I mean, this is shocking. This is this is really shocking to me. It, it might be possible you must have visited someone's secure website. Was that you, Cousin Eddie? That got to be Cousin Eddie. It can't be me. I don't visit. Like I said, I hardly visit websites. I told you, only place I really go to is Amazon and AOL. To check my email. So this gotta be cousin Eddie. Can't be my dude, cause my dude hardly here. He be at work at you know a lot, so he don't be here. So it got to be you. What the fuck did you do to this computer? These people could be still not info. He said he didn't do anything. Okay, I got it now. Let me tell you it might be possible you or might or like she uh, has downloaded or like has visited someone's secure websites by mistake. What type of websites? Uh, it might be possible you must have visited some like uh, some unsecure websites. What type of unsecure websites? I'm, I'm asking uh, because I want him to hear yes. this. Okay, uh, do you shop online? I shop online, but I don't know about him. Do you shop online? He said he does. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me give you some information, okay? How he, uh, like, he visited the... He said he'd be shopping at different sites, though. See, I only shop at Amazon. Okay, allow me one minute. Let me show it to you. What other websites do you be going to? It's peculiar. Just, just be with me. You told me you most of the time visit Amazon, right? Yeah. So let me tell you the difference between Amazon, all right? So right now you can see over here how you got that problem on your machine. No, I don't see how that came about. I, I, I'm telling you, okay? Just keep patience with me. Okay, let I'll keep patience right with now. you. Because, because your computer is running slow, so it might take some time. Okay. What other sites have you been going to? What peculiar sites have you been visiting, Eddie? I'm visiting the secure website, so you won't get more problem on it. Okay. And I will let you know what kind of website you should visit in order to shop or like that, okay? Okay. He said he also be doing some peculiar type of things with the computer and uh, would you tell me does he always sit any dating website or pornographic website sometime do you he hear you okay does, come does on. he does he visit tell me he said it's certain type of porn site he be visiting oh my, oh my god yeah what is it he said granny porn what else he said midget porn. And he said go fuckers porn. Okay. Yeah. So let me tell you about this. Can you see over here? Yeah, I see it. Do you see the difference between it says AD? AD means it's an advertisement. It has not been manufactured by the Amazon. 
it's a fake website which has been manufactured which has been created the third party people okay if she will visit this one where you will see ad that means they are advertising to their products once they will visit those website those kind of website websites okay include included all the advertisements so at that time they can monitor your information even with that little lock symbol up there I always type Sorry? in, I type in exactly the way the second link has it shown. HTTPS www.amazon.com. So I don't visit any type of advertisements. So Yes, at the time you won't get this one. If you directly type over here, yeah. Amazon.com, you won't get this one. Yeah, I know a little but bit something. That lot means it's yeah. secure. Yeah, you you want you shouldn't visit visit that one. You should visit this one. Exactly. You can see there is yes. So let me tell you how you got those problems. Okay, that was one of the examples. Are you trying to blame this on me? Have... I just told you. I don't, look. He's going to porn sites. If he's going to porn sites, I know those things are not secure. Right. So he has visited some porn websites exactly. without having the security software. So that's why this computer has been uh, compromised. Okay? okay. And all of your information are at risk right now. Yeah. So what best I can do right now for you, I can assign some engineers so they can do work on it and they can secure your information from the hackers like your name, email, your card information and all of your banking yeah. from the hackers so nobody can try to hack. Okay. Do you have any in the laptop or desktop apart from this? No. Mm -mm. Okay. So what you have to do, my is you just need to leave this computer the way it is for next complete ninety, like sixty to ninety. Wow. I don't have, I don't have that much time. That's what we're going out tonight with my dude. Uh, you don't need to. And what? Seventy one. Okay. Let me try it. Okay, I'm typing it for you. Somewhere around. Why does the numbers keep changing? Yes. 50 to 70 minutes. Okay. All right. Have, the hackers must have gotten to the computer now. They must saw you doing stuff and they decided to, to get into my computer. Look at, the, look at the numbers changing. Yeah, I'm typing some numbers. That's you typing? Those are changing. No, I, I'm typing like some different numbers. But those are getting changed by themselves. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Have the hackers gotten to the computer already? Yes, yeah, some of them are connected who are trying to hack information. Let me check it how many people oh, no. are connected, okay? See what you did, Eddie? You bastard. Now, do you see how many people are trying to hack information? Yeah, I see it. Current connection. Ten? Yeah. Yes. So, ten there hackers are, 10 are in my computer right now? Yes. So, they all are trying to hack information from a different location. And you can see over here the people who are connected, they all are connected with your local address. No. With your location where you're located. No. And you can see the... This is my worst nightmare. <laughs> Eddie, what did you do to us? What did you do? You bastard. Let me, one, okay? Let me help you out to get this thing fixed, all right? <laughs> My dude, he's gonna kill both of us. What you did, bitch. That's what Are you, you get. This? That's what you get, you bitch. Yep. Sorry? That's what you get, bitch. You're a dickhead. Scamming piece of shit. Uh, who have installed this one? Um, hmm. Mainly that's me. I did it because I knew you fuckers was going to try to sis key the computer. Motherfucking chutes you. Uh, Mace, you talking to I'm talking to right you, you bitch. I'm talking to you, bitch. I'm not doing this. You are I'm a bitch. You are a scammer. Fuck off. I'm not the one. Let me do one thing. Let me disconnect. Uh, Y'all, you, you disconnecting? Nope. You already sis keyed my computer, you bitch. 
I, I I'm not trying to put a sis key. I was yes, trying you to did. help you out to get this thing. You put a sis key. You are still not understanding what uh, I'm so doing. Not un I'm you have some very, very bad grammar, scammer. Come on I'm now. How can you, you scam? How can you try to scam someone when you got bad grammar? Yeah, I played your ass. I played your ass. Did you really think I was going to believe anything you said? You bitch. Oh, you have no what words. You, want right now? you have no words because a goat has his dick in your mouth. You tell me what do you want right now? Oh, I don't accomplish what I set out to do. Prove that you're a scammer and you're a bitch. And I wasted your time. Now go fuck off. You do. You backward chode. Yeah, you're a backward chode. What is that? Oh, you know what that is, bitch. Don't act dense. This ain't my first rodeo, son. Come on. I don't know what. Oh, come about. on, bitch. Come on, my the short. Come on, backward short. You don't know what that means. Let me see if my um, brother from another mother. <laughs> Let's see if we can try to call him back. Guys, there are two of them at this number. Um, it's on the phone. Uh, <laughs> Press pound when finished. Motherfucker shoots ya. Gone do. Yep, y'all are some scammers. Y'all pieces of shit. Go to hell. Fuck off. I played you. You couldn't handle me. Get ready for the calls because I have posted this number. And you're going to have a very, very bad day. You and Sean. And guess what? I'll probably be paying another visit. Uh, by phone to you in the next what one minute get ready for the calls bitch <laughs>